Inside Out 2 is the newest Pixar film and the newest Pixar sequel obviously being to the first Inside Out which released in 2015 and follows Riley's mind as new emotions take over and Joy and the rest of the previous emotions get stuck and have to find their way back to the control panel. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a huge fan of the first Inside Out. It is probably my favourite Pixar film of recent years. So when I found out that a sequel was happening, I was really dubious. I was really scared. I thought it was going to be really dookie because I saw the trailer and I was thinking, nah, we don't, we don't need this. And then I watched it. And something clicked. For me i think what really clicks for me with this one in particular is the emotion of anxiety because i have a generalized anxiety disorder and that shit is it, not nice let me tell you that and as a kid as the same age as riley i was still discovering what anxiety is what it really means to be anxious about things and there's one scene in particular in this film that really hit close to home for me there's a lot of lines too that hit close to home for me but i'm, I'm getting a a bit ahead so i want to talk about the animation first the animation in these movies you got to expect it right it's pixar they spend the gdp of a third world country on these movies so you're going to expect something nice out of it and yeah the animation is really nice i really loved the branch animations i think the branches for the ideas were really really nice and there's a scene in the third act of this which oh man the animation is crazy in that scene like, there's a tornado which Anxiety has, there's close-ups of Riley where you can just see the sweat dripping off and you, you're you like, whoa, this is the animation level that we're with here? Like, Jesus Christ, it's so good. I did want it to go more slapstick, but that's something which you've, which I didn't really expect from Inside Out. You know, the first Inside Out is quite slapstick at points. This one isn't as slapstick, but it's got some moments in there which are pretty, pretty on the nose. I want to talk about joy for a minute because I see a lot of people giving joy and sadness shit. Look, joy is the main emotion in these movies, okay? Joy is the emotion in these films which carry it, which carry themes, which carry the cast. So of course you're going to expect a lot more of joy than you would expect, and yes, this is more of like the first one where anxiety is replacing sadness, where it's basically just a back and forth between them. Again, I think a lot of this comes down to relatability and how much I can relate to these characters and how much I can relate to the emotions that are presented. Because as a kid, we all feel embarrassment, right? We all feel embarrassment, we all feel anxiety about things, we all feel boredom. Jesus Christ, I'm bored all fucking time even still and it's kind of like i'm looking at this through the perspective of what i remember it being as a kid and when the first movie did come out i was the same age as riley at the time i was like 11 or 12 so now at 21 it's still like yeah i do feel this shit i do feel emotions just the same way as a kid would maybe even more because as an adult you get the society pressures on you such as taxes jobs etc but as a kid you're kind of just free to do whatever you like and go to school and live your life and riley is trying to fit in and as a very introverted kid it was difficult for me to fit in. and i don't want to make this about me obviously but the the film itself is very relatable to me and i think that's what makes it work as well as it did because I grew up on this. I grew up on Pixar. I grew up on the first Inside Out. I remember going to see it with my grandparents and bawling my eyes out because I was like, yeah, this, this shit is relatable, you know? And this is going to be relatable to some kids. And it doesn't quite have the same edge as the first one does. And maybe that's fine. That is fine. But if you go in to it like oh yeah this was the way i was this is the way that my kids are you're gonna find something to enjoy and there is something about this that just hits it just really hits so i'm gonna give inside out two and eight out of ten pretty brief review here um yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of at the point where i thought about this film i thought about the lines there is a line in here which really really dug deep where it was Anxiety saying my job is to protect her from things that she can't see and That is true. 
you know so yeah thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me if you've seen inside out 2 and i'll see you guys in the next one peace